Welcome to the General Chemistry 1 class. This section is on stoichiometry, focusing on empirical formulas from percent composition. In this lesson, we will calculate the empirical formula from the percent composition of a compound. Percent composition of a compound is the mass in grams of the elements present for every 100 grams of the compound. Given the formula unit or the formula, percent composition of a compound can be determined. If the percent composition of a compound is given, a chemical formula can be obtained. This chemical formula is empirical formula which shows the elements in their simplest whole number ratio. Here are the steps in determining the empirical formula for a compound given, given its composition. First, assume that the compound has a mass of 100 gram. Determine the mass of each element given the percent composition. The value in percent is just the value in grams. Second, convert the mass of each element to moles using its molar mass. Number three, find the smallest whole number ratio of this element or the given element. In finding the smallest whole number ratio of the elements, Start from simplifying the mole values by dividing them by the lowest value. This helps in bringing the quantities to lowest whole number ratio. For example, given the, nit the nitrogen has 2.17 moles and oxygen has 4.34 moles, divide these values by 2.17. The nitrogen to an oxygen mole ratio can be simplified as 1 is to 2. Hence, the formula is NO2. In some cases, mole ratio can be simplified by multiplying all the quantities by a number that can be removed by decimals. For example, the formula for NO 0.5 can be simplified by multiplying all numbers of moles by 2 to obtain N2. Number 3. There are small values that can be rounded off to a whole number. Do this only when they are really close to a whole number. In the given example, 2.997 is close to 3, while 8.002 is close to 8. So, the formula can be rewritten as 3C3H8. Let's have the example number one. Cyclohexane is made up of 87.73% of carbon and 12.27% of hydrogen. Now, determine the empirical mass of cyclohexane. For the solution, step one. Assume that the compound has a mass of 100 grams. Determine the mass of each element given the percent composition. Since the given compound is 87.7% carbon and 12.27% hydrogen, masses of the elements present in 100 grams are 87.73 grams of carbon and 12.27 grams of hydrogen. Step number two. Convert the mass of each element to mole using its molar mass. For carbon, number of moles equals 87.73 grams divided by its molar mass, 12.01 grams per mole. 
which is equal to 7.305 moles. For hydrogen, number of moles equals 12.27 grams divided by 1.008 grams per mole, which is equal to 12.17 moles. Step number three. Find the smallest whole number ratio of the element from the obtained number of moles the number of carbons and hydrogen is in the ratio 7.305 is to 12.17. We can tentatively write the formula as C7.305 and H12.17. Simply, the quantity is by dividing them by the lower value, 7.305 in this case, giving us a formula of CH1.6662. Simplify this to their smallest whole number ratio. We can multiply all the subscript by 3 based on the given table. So, the formula becomes C3H4.998, which can be simplified to C3H5. Example number two. A nitrogen oxide molecule consists of 25.9% nitrogen and 74.1% of oxygen. What is the empirical formula for this compound? Solution Step number 1 Assume that the compound has a mass of 100 grams. Determine the mass of each element given the percent composition. Simply convert the unit percent in the given values, then convert it to grams. Step number two, convert the mass of each element to moles using its molar mass. Moles of nitrogen, which is equal to 25.9 grams, divided by 14.01 grams per mole, which is equal to 1.85 moles. Moles of oxygen equal 74.1 grams, Divide by 16 grams per mole, which is equal to 4.63 moles. Example number 3. Adenine consists of 44.44 carbon and 3.73% of hydrogen and the rest nitrogen. Determine the empirical formula for adenine. Solution. Step number one. Assume that the compound has a mass of 100 grams. Determine the mass of each element given the percent composition. From the given, per given percentages, 100% of the compound contains 44.44 grams carbon and 3.73 grams hydrogen. To find the mass of nitrogen, subtract the other masses from 100 grams, and the mass of nitrogen is then 100 grams minus 44.44 grams minus 3.73 grams, which is equal to 51.83 grams. Step number two. Convert the mass of each element to moles using its molar masses. Mole of carbon is 44.44 grams divided by 12.01 grams per mole, which is equal to 3.7 moles. Moles of hydrogen equals 3.73 grams divided by 1.008 grams per mole, which is equal to 3.7 moles. Moles of nitrogen equals 5187 grams divided by 14.01 grams per mole, which is equal to 3.702 moles. Step number three. 
Find the smallest whole number ratio of the element from the calculated number of moles, the ratio of mole of carbon to hydrogen to nitrogen is 3.7 is to 3.7 is to 3.702, which can be simplified as 1 is to 1 is to 1001. The third number is safe to be round off to 1. Hence, the empirical formula of the compound is CHN. To summarize, the empirical formula of a compound can be obtained given its composition by calculating the number of moles of element present in a given compound of the substance. The amount of these elements in moles can be simplified by their smallest whole number ratio to get the empirical formula. We have now the references or the bibliography for your further readings. Thank you.